name's Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my Makeup Monday for this week. Today I'm going to do a fun fold card. It's um, a double Z fun fold card. I did one oh, ages ago. I was going through my folder of um, tutorials that I print out when I make a fun fold and measurements and everything to have a look at what I could do and I found this one and I thought let's give it a whirl so let's flip down to my craft desk and we can get started okay so this is the one I found many moons ago that I did many moons ago <laughs> I can't even remember the the name of the stamp set I haven't got that written down so this was yeah this was one I think I did it with my stamp club a long time ago so that's the one I found in my archives <laughs> but today I've made it a little bit shorter because that tends to be let's grab my ruler I'm pretty sure it's like six well, it's five and a half so it fits in a six by six envelope and I didn't want to use like um half a sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock I wanted to keep it in line with the normal standard sized cards so I tweaked it a little bit and um, as a demonstrator I'm not quite sure where she is whether she's in the US or UK stamping with Laura or no Laurie stamping with Laurie I saw she'd done one with the lay shops designer series paper and I thought oh, I'll have a little play and scale it down and do one as well but I added a few little extras to mine. I cut out another awning and put it on dimensionals to give it a bit more of a 3D effect. I cut out the door to the bookshop and um, put, popped it on top, another 3D effect. But I've got some little characters from Zoo Crew designer series paper scooting by. And to me, this just reminds me of like a Parisian street street in Paris with all the last little bookshops and art shops and in that paper there's a bakery um, or in Italy I'm seeing quite a few places in Italy that have got like paved um, cobblestone streets with all the little bookshops lining the streets so I thought that was pretty cute so pretty much everything here is lay shops design a series paper or let's go shopping um, except for the two characters and they they were fussy cut out of the zoo crew paper so that's our card and you might wonder where would you write on this card I've put a panel on the back with another strip of designer series paper and you can write on the back to the recipient of the card and that strips got all little miniature shops so that's the size we're going to do not my old one from the archives we're doing this size Oh, now where did I put my folder? Oh, there it is. Um, because it fits into a standard envelope. Actually, it well and truly fits because it's not quite the same size as the normal A5. So that's what I like because then you don't have extra in postage. As long as it's not too thick with all your layering, you don't get extra in postage. So let me get my ruler out of the way. This is my very Australian ruler. I have no idea where we got this from. Probably on a holiday when our kids were little. And it's road signs in Australia. So it's got kangaroos, last pub, emus, crocodiles, sharks, wombats, <laughs> an outback dunny and koalas. So it's a very Australian ruler. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to remind you that we still have the designer series paper sale running for the month of June. So you get nearly all the paper in the annual catalogue is on sale at 15% off. So the Bright and Beautiful, the Countryside Inn, the Delightfully Eclectic. I got that the other day. I haven't played with it. I haven't opened it yet. Earth and Elegance, Precious a Daisy, the Glorious Gingham, the Inked Botanicals, the Let's Go Fishing. I got that the other day as well. And that's what we're playing with today. The Lay Shops, um, the Masterfully Made, the Stargazing and Zoo Crew. They are all 15% off along with 
the um, Hello Irresistible bundle, 6x6 six six bundle in the online store. That's 15% off as well. So they're all your papers that are 15% off. Now, I've only got the Let's Go Fishing paper. I don't have the stamp set and dies, and I'm toying with the idea of getting them. Toying, I say. <laughs> so they're on page 78 and 79. Now, I don't have any fishermen in my family, so <laughs> that's probably why it never sort of grabbed me to start with. <clears throat> but with this paper sale, I thought, well, I'll get the paper because that can make some masculine cards up. I am thinking about getting the stamp set. I'm not sure about the dies. I know the dies are great and you can make a tackle box out of it and it cuts out the weights and the sinkers and it cuts out this fish which is on one of the designer series paper. But I'm just not sure about the dies. But I may get the stamp set because it is a good masculine one. Just still thinking about that. <laughs> Um, and it does come, if you get the sweet collection, it has an embossing folder called the Twisted Rope Embossing Folder. And that's quite good. I haven't got that either. So I'm thinking about that one too. But I've got the paper to start with. So that's always a good starting point. It's like with the Zoo Crew, the Zany Zoo. I don't have the stamp set and dies for that either. So... <laughs> anyway okay so I will bring my lace shops one in I've got all my measurements written down on a scrap piece of card so they will when I upload this card to my blog I will have my measurements there so I'll just talk you through the measurements <clears throat> so so this paper has a vanilla um, base to it a lot of our papers have the whisper on oh, the basic white background base to them this one has vanilla so I've got myself a piece of vanilla just in case I should show you the paper that's what I should do <laughs> okay so this is the designer series paper so I have started to cut into it as you can see so this is the one with all the fish and I believe is that that fish that it cuts out not 100% sure, but it only cuts one of the fish. The there's only one die that cuts one of the fish out. Um, so that's the other one, which I think looks like water if you put it horizontal. There's a whole lot of, um, I think they're called lures. <laughs> you can tell I don't have a fisherman in my family. Um, there's hooks. And it's quite a good masculine because it's got just quite... Um, neutral sort of back designs there's um the gingham background so quite neutral backgrounds if you don't want to use the fishing hooks or the lures on the back very nice backgrounds this one's got lots of fishing rods and that's like a net so really good masculine paper actually i might have to get another pack um, this has got lovely blue fishies. Now the colours in this are boho blue and misty moonlight, so they're my one of my favourite colours. <clears throat> and just um, kind of like wood panels, but in the misty moonlight on the back. So it is really gorgeous paper, and I think you can just do a lot with the paper alone. Um, oh, this one's got like a nautical map on the back of back of it. You can't really see it on camera. So. That's the paper. So as I said, I think you can do a lot with just the paper alone. Like the Lay Shops paper, like the Zoo, Zoo Crew paper. Okay, so I've cut myself, I've fussy cut some fish out for our card. And our card base is in Mossy Meadow and I've got some fishing hooks and lures I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way they're all going any which way and I embossed this is wild wheat one of the new ink colors I've embossed that with an old retired embossing folder if I can find it I it's called high seas so that one has retired but I've kept it in my paper stash because 
anything to do with the ocean I think it's a good one I can pull out from time to time but the twisted rope one that goes with this suite would be really nice as well okay so we've got our card base and it is 10.5 centimeters wide by 28 centimeters long so normal A4 card stock is 29.7 so I've just cut 1.7 centimeters off the length of it and straight down the middle I've scored it at 7 centimeters and 14 centimeters so let's so it's pretty much got I've scored it in half and then half again <coughs> and that's why I cut that 1.7 centimeters off because it just made it easier to get you know the, the folds happening so that is your card base <clears throat> excuse me I'll have a sip of water okay and this is like the bridge that makes the double fold and it is three centimeters by 28 centimeters long also scored at seven and fourteen now you're going to put the 14 centimeter that will be on the front can you see the long long panels on the front and then it folds back <clears throat> and it makes so that's why that's why it's called a double Z because you've got two pieces of cardstock making the Z's the Z's okay so that's going to go on our card like so when it's all decorated and attached and then that's the double Z fold does it make sense I think it does <laughs> okay so now it's just a matter of putting things together okay so this panel is 6.5 by 10 this panel is 13.5 by 10 and then they're the ones I've embossed with that retired high C's embossing folder I've got a little piece of the designer series paper 6.5 by 9.5 and that's going to go here <clears throat> and this piece is a little bit bigger it's 6.5 by 10 I'm going to put that there I had thought of doing that and I might I'm just not sure I'm still thinking I've got some of the blue and that's going to go on what I call the bridge part of the Z or the second Z to make it look like the ocean so let's start layering up that card so I hope everyone had a nice weekend I had a nice weekend I was down at the Gosford waterfront markets on Saturday beautiful sunny day a bit fresh in the morning <laughs> um, but yeah it was a beautiful day so I'm just putting my no it's not pecan pie it's wild wheat <laughs> it's one of the new in colors and one of the colors in this paper pack okay I'm gonna put this one on here first because I'm still deciding which way to go with this piece so yeah so that's the second time I've done that market and it's really good I've got a couple more contacts for classes so that was great which I must just write myself a note to put my contacts on my mailing list I'm just writing it now as I think of it <laughs> Um, okay so that's gonna lay there sometimes it's good to hang on to old embossing folders um, particularly if they've got a theme because you can use them with um, you know anything related to that sort of theme so that's why I've hung on to the high seas because I thought well anything ocean water it could work now I'm just trying to think 
to you won't see that bit until the cards opened up let me move my bridge over here so you don't see what's inside here until it's opened up so when it's sitting flat it's like a bit of a mystery inside so I'm wondering if I should do it the same or if I should do it with the the um, diamonds I suppose it doesn't really matter and it gives it a little bit more interest doesn't it or should I do the same no look let's go out on a limb and we'll do the diamond side so the next two markets July and August I'm going to have um, a lot of mail and Father's Day cards on the stand so I thought I need to get this fishing paper to make up some mail cards yeah, I like that because it's it uh, I think that's pecan pie that ties in with the lures over there yeah I like that okay so I'm just going to put glue on my water-based paper like the one that looks like water to me Ooh. <laughs> I did have someone um, say to me at the markets yesterday that nobody sends cards anymore and um, so therefore they don't <laughs> and I thought okay and I think she was sort of implying it's a dying art and it wasn't a very sensible hobby to have <laughs> and I thought well maybe all us stamping up demonstrators are here to change the world <laughs> and make it not a dying hobby or a dying um, thing to like an idea to send cards because Oh, you just send the messages on Facebook or Instagram, and I thought, well, you can't stand that on a side sideboard, can you? <laughs> you can't display a message on Instagram or Facebook on a on a you know piece of furniture. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'll just. I thought, where are all the like-minded people like me who likes making cards? <laughs> okay, so I've put glue on that half of the long strip that's going there and on the bit that's going to go here. So I find that's the easiest way is to pop it down like so and like so. And just hold it in place for a split second and I might grab my bone folder and just make sure I've got that nice and scored there we go so there's our double Z one Z two Z's so now we can just continue to um, embellish a card so here's some little fish that I've cut out already. I better not put them on upside down. <laughs> that would be grim. Um, I wasn't sure how many I wanted. And whether I wanted one swimming along in the ocean down here. And maybe one over here. Yes, let's do that. And I've got he's all that masculine stamp set from the catalog because it's got a nice father's day um stamp here let's have another look at the fishing one so it was page 78 and 79 okay so it's got a nice happy father's day too uh, it's got a happy retirement so glad that you're my dad congrats good things comes come to those who wait i guess that because they're sinkers they're weights it's a play on the word um 
there's no happy birthday in the set but that's okay and obviously this it's a two-step stamp set so this stamp goes inside that fish this this stamp goes inside that sinker and maybe that as well um, no happy birthday in it but that's okay so I got I got this one out and that's why I'm thinking of getting the stamp set because I'm a little bit um, I don't have a lot of masculine stamp sets so I thought perhaps I need to add the fishing one to my repertoire <laughs> so okay let's go back in now I could put these fish on dimensionals let's, oh that's my puppy girl do I need another one over here let's find the paper maybe I do look there's a little tiny one here I could fussy can't yes let's let's think about that and let's work out which ones we're going to put on dimensionals and which ones we're just going to apply flat and then I've got to work out where oh maybe I shouldn't put that fish there because maybe that's where my father's day saying should go yes let's do that I'll get all carried away with decorating and then I'll think oh where will I put my sentiment Get my tweezers. Make sure I don't put my fish upside down. So, um, the lady I saw on Instagram, uh, Pinterest, or YouTube—I'm not quite sure where I saw her. Um, she did one very similar to this, so I did copy her idea, but I put my little zoo crew characters speeding along. Well, they're not speeding because that would be wrong scooting along so and I thought oh maybe I could do that with the fish I know what I'll do I shall put my sentiment I will stamp my sentiment and pop it up and maybe I will pop that fish up this one I can down there we go pop in like so and like if you've got, got the stamp set the gone fishing stamp set you can always fussy cut the stamps out if you don't get the die so it's not a big issue I've got a little bit of extra glue there so there we go now I will put him here maybe I'll put him flat and I'll just um, put my sentiment up maybe that would be a good idea so you can see just with the designer series paper that you can come up with a really nice card So yeah, I want to have a lot of Father's Day things made up ready for the next two markets. Because the September markets will be after Father's Day and I will also be away. So the next two, July and August, I need to get my game on <laughs> and um, get organised. So I've got things there ready okay so that's my other little fish i was thinking about putting somewhere but i'm not going to now so i'll put that back in my little bag for another card and i've got my piece of vanilla and my card base is mossy meadow so i will use mossy meadow ink and he's all that he's got the dies that go with it so let me have a look at those dies here they are so this one's quite a nice 
last one. Oh my God, is that too big? Oh no, but would it be too big here? Yes, it would. Okay, so maybe we don't want these dies. Maybe we want some other dies. I know the ones I want. The deckled rectangle die. Because that sort of makes sense. And look at that. Perfect. Okay, so. Put our die there. And we shall get... Father's Day, yes, and we will get our little block out, and I do want to make sure that it's stamped straight. Okay, my my mossy meadow looks like it needs re-inking. Let's go to my old one. Let's see if that feels better. Sometimes you don't know until you come to use the colours. Let's have a look. Oh, that's better. Is that funny? Okay. Oh, that's lovely. Sometimes you don't realise your ink pad is a little bit um, in need of some ink until you're about to use it. Which I guess makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, so I've got my little cut emboss machine. And I'm just going to... That needs to be trimmed down. So I'll go through this machine. Okay. So you need plate number one and number two. And what happened to my rip? Oh, now I've got the sentiment on the floor. There we go. weeks I hope to be able to continue with all my makeup Mondays and my Facebook live on a Friday but if I can't get here I will let you know um, my co-worker is going overseas on Tuesday so I'm doing five weeks by myself at work we had organized a new staff member But she came, worked for two days, and decided that it wasn't for her. <clears throat> so we were left in the lurch, which wasn't very nice. But anyway, we will survive. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go up on Dimension North. I'm just wondering, do I... Go around the edges with my mossy meadow, you know what, and I'll do it with my one that needs re-inking because it won't be as inky. So just with your blending brush, I'm just going around the edges just to give it a bit of colour. And the deckled rectangle looks really good. Sort of ties in with the theme, I think. So yeah, I, I should be able to keep going with my um my videos. So I shouldn't have any problem, hopefully. <laughs> so I just hope I don't get sick <laughs> because the boss will be up the creek without a paddle <laughs> okay so 
be found today. I'm gonna just, oops, sorry, my head came in. I've got to bring it down so I don't pull my head in. My big fat head. <laughs> there we go. Now, I do need to get um, another piece of, I'll clean my stamp first. Another piece of um, vanilla to put on the back so you can write on the card. So, because I've cut this one down, so let me grab another piece of vanilla. And as I said, that will be 10. 13.5 that will go here and let me see if I can find um, I could I could just put a piece of the blue water on the back. See, I did it that way on that card. But maybe I shall do that. So that's 13.5. Is that right? 13.5. I'm pretty sure that's right. glue get my glue back in so there's also a really good joining promotion for the month of June that's happening now if you would like to get a discount on your craft supplies um, it's a good time to join because for $169 which is the normal joining fee you will get $283 worth of product and business supplies and it's free shipping so you can choose up to $283 worth of product and only pay $169 it's a really good deal so if you'd like to know more about that just let me know so I'm going to put that panel on the back like I did with my shop one so there's a place for you to write on um, for the the person that you're sending the card to or giving the card to so let's let's change the world let's make a card and send a card let's do that I'm going to try and challenge myself to make a card and send a card once a week because I know I have a whole lot of cards in my stash <laughs> so I'm going to start sending them out okay now we need some bling, definitely need some bling. Okay, in my bling tin, I think we shall go for the rustic metallic dots. I don't think they retired, let me double check. I don't want to put something on the card that's not current. Uh, bling and ribbon. I know we've got these ones i think the rustic ones did retire look at that they are retired retired <laughs> um so we shall go with the brushed metallic dots i can't believe that they're retired i can use them on my market cards <laughs> Okay, so let's find a, take a pick tool. Now I really like these brass ones. There's gold, copper, and brass. And I think the brass ones look really good on this card. So I shall use those. There we go. And... 
I might just put one where see my third one I always struggle <laughs> there we go so the brush metallic dots are still current these rustic ones have retired but I will use them on my market cards because they don't care okay so that is my card for today what do you think of that so wishing you a happy father's day and it's using the gone fishing designer series paper i'm sure that's what it's called let's go fishing <laughs> let's go fishing designer series paper and you can write on the back and this is my lay shops one with the little characters from zoo crew riding by so if you'd like to place an online order with me please use this host code <clears throat> with your orders um, my links have been playing up a little bit and it doesn't automatically attach the host code so just make sure that that host code goes with your order and I will if your order is over $60 I'll send you a free gift um, so yeah so let's come back to my face if I can find up oh, if I can find my mouse <laughs> there we go yay <laughs> so <clears throat> um, I hope you enjoyed that card and um, you have a great week ahead and I shall see you on Friday for card and a cuppa bye for now <laughs>